So what we've got here is an installation video on how to replace a water supply line underneath a uh, kitchen or underneath a bathroom sink rather. Um, this particular sink has um, kind of pre-made and formed uh, standard metal lines here. Um, you can all, you can see how there's some uh, some of the coloration and it's already starting to kind of uh, get some uh, corrosion down by the actual supply line. This is the water supply line going up and then obviously this goes up into the sink to the faucet. Um, this particular um, stainless steel line, they're a lot stronger. Um, they last a lot longer. They don't corrode as much. They don't get pinholes in them and leak all over your floor and call, cause tons of water damage. They're 4 or $5 at your home improvement store. They're really easy to install. Um, you just Before I show you, if you just don't want to watch the rest of the video, just make sure you turn off your water supply. So that's turning right. Make sure that is completely off both sides. And then you're going to unscrew here, and then you're going to unscrew up here where it connects into the bottom of the faucet. Um, the, the larger end on this is typically what goes into the faucet. The smaller end is typically what goes into that water supply line. So we'll show you how to do that, but that's the quick, quick what I call one, two, one, two on how you, uh, where it, how you do it and where it goes. So like I said, the first thing you want to do before you replace this line is you want to turn off your water supply. Uh, you can use different tools. I lace them out. Uh, whatever you do, don't strip the nut at the bottom. That's this thing right here. Um, the most useful thing, obviously, is channel locks, uh, pipe wrench. Uh, most pipe wrenches are really big. I don't have the little mini one. Um, this works really well. This works well as long as you, like I said, get it on there tight and you don't strip the nut. If this is all you have at home, then use some pliers. Just make sure, like I said, when you first start to turn it to, to break it free, that you um, don't strip that nut. So I'm going to take that off real quick and always make sure you put some towels down. I just grab some rags. Uh, you're going to get some water. The, the water that's in the line is going to come out and get all over your floor if you don't throw some rags down. All right, so when you get that first, when you get that nut up, uh, up here, coming off of the uh, faucet it'll actually typically drop down and then you're just going to pull that off there's some putty up there um, you can like I said make sure the water line is completely turned off and you're going to want to unscrew this and then you're just going to slide out the water line it's that simple but just make sure these two are um, completely unscrewed before you do that and the water line is shut off Okay, so our water line is off. Uh, just like I said, make sure the bigger end that goes up underneath the sink, the smaller end that goes at your water supply line, make sure they're nice and tight when you screw them in. Turn your water back on and you're done. So here's your finished product. Uh, we made sure this was nice and tight on, the, on the, both top and bottom there. We turned our water line back on. You might hear it do kind of a quick like all that is a little that little hissing noise is the water pressure coming out, filling up the hose. Uh, make sure there's no leaks. That's it. Hope that helped.